with meteorologist Ted Schmidt. Earlier in the newscast, we showed you a volunteer car wash underway right now, and what a great day for that. And parts of the viewing area could get a a little quick car wash from Mother Nature later. We may, yeah, it was evening hours, Jess. We're looking at the line of thunderstorms. A select few, I think, will enjoy some of those showers, but there's something to talk about there in the way of rain. And if you don't get this time, I think there's at least one more round in store for us before we get to the weekend. So some things to talk about to go with this beautiful and very pleasant, very tranquil, warm, early August sunshine. Here's the current scene from uh, CC Heights. That's live in Rochester with our Lewis Auto camera. Just a couple of fair weather cumulus clouds, but still mostly sunny conditions. And that's what we're going to be enjoying for the rest of the afternoon. Temperature is very seasonable, keeping in mind that 79 is a 30 year climate average. We're right about there already. We'll tack out a couple degrees, make our way to maybe the low 80s this afternoon. 77 in Rochester officially. It's 81 meanwhile in Austin, 76 in Mason City, and 77 in Decorah. Some sunshine, a dew point 61, a little more humid than yesterday, but by no means uh, oppressively muggy by any means. This is seasonal, if not really not all that bad, kind of dry in, in many ways uh, for August standards. Air pressure is uh, steady and the wind is completely calm right now, so maybe it feels a little more humid just because of that. But there are some showers and thunderstorms. Those developing our northwest, not severe weather. The, the greater risk of severe weather certainly looks to stay mainly north of us out of this, but we'll see some rumbles of thunder. There are some downpours happening. Some of that will work its way to our southeast and so our northern counties. Rochester and points northward will have the best chance of rain from that happening about uh, 435, 6 o'clock this evening into the uh, late evening hours as well. 77 right now in Rochester. It's 80 in Marshall. There's a front to our north and the other side of that front just a little bit cooler. 74 in Grand Forks, 71 in Minot. Right now looking at high temperatures in the low 80s today. Temperatures still in the 70s until after sunset. We dropped the 50s tonight and bounce right back to uh, the low 80s again tomorrow. Very close to it. Straight thunderstorms late in the day. Nothing extremely widespread, but here in this activity, Another round of thunderstorms late tomorrow night. At this point, it might even happen after midnight, heading into Friday morning. And again, Friday evening, there's a chance of maybe a couple of thunderstorms. So maybe a couple of rounds on Friday, technically. Some very, very early and some very, very late. And then the weekend does feature maybe a brief shower on Sunday. But most of the weekend looks actually fairly decent. But here's future track. We have a lot of sunshine in store for today. Then we see these isolated little pockets of thunderstorm activity developing uh, as early as maybe 4.30. I think at this point, it might even be closer to 5 or 6 as that, uh, as that line approaches. Thunderstorms go on until about midnight. We get a break overnight, so then tomorrow a lot of sunshine. Showers to the west falling apart. We'll have some thin clouds from that, though. And then eventually late tomorrow night. It looks like it may be this line that comes in for the west. Uh, some strong storms west of us weakening as they approach us, so our severe weather risk pretty much very low. Uh, chance of thunderstorms after midnight, uh, late tomorrow night, into maybe the wee hours of Friday morning. And then again, that other round may impact the area. For Friday evening around 9 or 10 o'clock. So most of Friday looking pretty quiet during the daylight hours. Isolated storms this evening, or at least a stray shower or storm from 6 until about midnight. Then we'll uh, see things get quiet for the overnight period and for all of tomorrow. Look for rain chances uh, late today. A few, or at least a couple of rounds maybe on Friday, and a chance maybe a brief shower on Sunday. Rainfall amounts, uh, some of those downpours may potentially yield more than an inch of rainfall. That's something to get excited about. Uh, not necessarily a done deal, but there's a, a chance that with repeated rounds of rain, we could see an inch or more of rain in the next uh, three or four rounds that we're facing in the next uh, three or four days. Uh, stray shower this afternoon, otherwise a lot of sunshine, 81 in Rochester, 82 in Austin. Tomorrow dry during the day, again late tomorrow night, some thunderstorms, but partly sunny for your Thursday. Uh, right around 80 degrees, Austin 83 though, and the temperature is very close to the seasonal average throughout the week, 70s and low 80s. And again today, sunshine with that late day thunderstorm and a light west breeze. 58 tonight after those scattered evening storms will clear things off. 58 tonight and then some sunshine tomorrow. A good looking day. Uh, Thursday's downtown. The last one of the season. Last chance Thursday, Jess. That's this is at the state, state for anyway. This is the last chance day. Tomorrow's our last chance. A couple of thunderstorms perhaps on Friday. And next week is still looking mostly decent. Last chance for all the good food and drink, Ted. I know it's hard to believe it's, it's wrapping up. Yeah, already. and the entertainment and the art and all the good things. Yeah. Such a great thing our city does every year. Thank you, Ted. <laughs>